Shalom, and welcome back to Bnei Noach Academy, Thoughts on the Torah. Please remember to hit the like button, to subscribe, and most importantly, to share this insight and inspiration with friends and family. So if you look in Numbers, chapter 25, verses 12 and 13, God, through Moses, promises Pinchas for his heroic action on behalf of saving the Jewish people and for God's honor, he says to him, quote, therefore say to him, behold, I give him my covenant of peace. And the next verse says, will be to him and to his progeny after him an everlasting covenant of priesthood because he stood up zealously for his God. Now, we know that everything in the Torah, everything in God's arena, is accurate. The reward is to be very much connected with the action that the person took. And the question is, the reward here is a covenant of peace. The reward here is to become a priest. Now, let me explain. What does it mean to become a priest? Was he not a descendant of Aaron? Well, originally, when the priesthood was assigned... We're talking about almost 40 years ago when they built a tabernacle. At the time, God only appointed Aaron and the four sons and those that will be born after that. Pinchas was already alive. He was never yet appointed to be a Kohen, to be a priest. Now he's becoming a priest. In fact, many, many, many of the high priests throughout the generations were direct descendants of this Pinchas, this heroic individual. But going back to the question, how is the covenant of peace and becoming a priest a reward for the action that he did in killing the wicked ones, in killing Zimri and stopping the plague? Well, the answer is, and sadly, I say unfortunately, we live in a society, we live in a time where people associate with be being peaceful with being complacent, with being quiet, with not standing up for what's right. Now, I'm not suggesting that people have to run around the streets screaming and protesting. That also is not a good thing. However, too often, people who are on the right side of things are too afraid to open their mouth, are too afraid to take action, and all for the supposed or imagined for the sake of peace. But the Torah is teaching us that's not true peace. Somebody who truly desires peace, somebody who truly desires kindness, has to be ready sometimes to go out of their comfort zone and do such things that perhaps are not typically or obviously associated with peace. In other words, peace, true peace, true kindness means that I have to be ready, if the situation calls for it, if needed, to do something which is against my own comfort, against my own preference. And that's exactly what Pinchas did. He brought about peace by taking a stance. He brought about true peace and kindness, because the fact is that the plague stopped, by standing up and doing something which perhaps typically can be categorized as ugly, as severe, as vicious, the opposite of peace. But this brought about peace. So this is what God rewards him with. A, the covenant of peace, and B, to be a Kohen, to be a priest. The priest embodies the epitome of kindness, of givingness, because the whole life of a priest is to give to the community, to serve the community, to be their representative, to not have their own, so to speak, personal life and personal comfort rather be there for the community. So this is a lesson for us. Of course, we always have to seek to be peaceful and tranquil. But when necessary, stand up for what's right. Don't be afraid to say the right thing, even though some people may complain and argue that this is unpeaceful and this is bothering them. But you have to do the right thing. That is the ultimate peace, according to the Torah.